What's up, good people? Welcome to my channel, this is Isaac's Insights. Kindly consider subscribing, like, comment, and share. Today I have a topic that I'd like, I'd like us to share, and uh, it will be good if you comment your thoughts so that in our next video we can talk about it. Let's continue talking. And today I'm here to talk about culture. Uh, as a people, from the definition of the word culture, culture is the ideas, customs, and the social behavior of a certain people or society that, that defines their living. So, for us to know where we are going, we also need to know our past. I know we understand we have Generation Z. We call it Gen Z. The Gen Z are the main reason why I have decided to come up with this, uh, this topic, so that we can at least share. I understand that uh, some communities, some places, some people still practice even their traditions. But now my question is, is it right to uh, is it right to uh, look down upon certain culture or certain traditions? To me, I will say it's right or it's wrong. My reasons being, for example, maybe you, you are raised in, uh, if I use Kenya, I, I like discussing about tribes, but this is the reality. Maybe you were born in uh, central Kenya, that is where Akikuyu, and uh, another one was raised in Luya land. So these two places and these two communities had their own cultures and customs. And I, I understand being a Luya, we have different customs that our, uh, our ancestors came up with. I know people don't know why most of those customs were put in place, but I will try and break them down so that uh, I can also, in such sense, in someone who may look at those uh, those customs and maybe think that lawyers are mad people. No, most of these customs were put in place in different societies. I'm sure if you come from uh, let's say Kikuyu and another one comes from Luya, uh, that's Luya land, that is Western Kenya. Our customs are different, but by the fact that they are different, it doesn't mean that we are different people. It's just like Christianity and Muslim. Muslim have their customs, what they believe, what they see that is right, but have you seen any Christian criticizing Muslim? Though Muslims openly criticize Christians, which is also wrong because uh, in this life everyone chooses his way. We have even pagans, we have uh, Christian, Muslims, we have Hindus. What makes you think your culture is better than the other people's culture? Well, I'm not defending any culture, but what I'm trying to say is uh, we need to look at these cultures different, different. For example, me being a lawyer, I can explain each and every custom that you people look at and think that maybe, oh, lawyers have uh, taboos and customs that are tough to follow. Maybe let me tell you, I, I have got the privilege of sitting with the different, different elders and I always get the sense of why each and every custom is there. Maybe to clarify this, some people always think that uh, a certain taboo or uh, a certain taboo or custom that was put in place in Luya land is harmful. No, let me maybe help you with one example. In Luya land, in laws, we always ensure that uh, respect remains in between the two families. That is, in Luya land, I will give one example, but we have many examples which I will try also making video on each and every 
custom or taboo that people think that maybe it is wrong in Luyala. Now let me uh, try and give this one, one, uh, this one custom that was put in place by Understars. Understars says that uh, they or they sat down and decided that it's not right for a man, any man who was married in a certain home, to just walk there as they think. Well, today, considering we are Generation Z, the, the, the custom kind of looks kind of outdated or what. But now let me tell you the reason why such, such custom was put in place. You are in the, somewhere. How do you expect to just to walk in that home any time even without notice? You need to give notice. The reason being, uh, we know our mothers, we know our women, but let's call the, our mothers because in, in this case we are talking about mother-in-law and father-in-law. Now, imagine you walk in a certain compound in, or in a certain home where you marry and your mother-in-law is not prepared and they have uh, maybe, let's say, short cloth or the, the what do they call it? Even some mothers use the, the top for women. She's wearing that. And you, as an in-law, you are walking in that home. Even in our, uh, in our life today, is that right? Obvious, it's not right because, remember this, your mother in law You need to respect her. You need, you, you need to ensure that you don't see some of her private parts because maybe people don't know that uh, the theories the theories are private parts when it comes to tradition and even today because that's why you can't walk with your theories outside and those who walk with it they have their motive which they are aiming at so you can imagine walking in a home and your mother in law is there with the theories outside and your son in law is that right so some of these cultures I think, to me, I think people need to look at them positively. When you are told that in Luyaland this happens and this does not happen, look for someone who lives in Luyaland. Ask them, what is the implication of this custom? And why was it put in place? Because for me, I've done research, I've sat with elders, tried to talk to them. You ask me any custom that is in place, I will tell you why that, why that custom is there. Let me give another, another, just ex another example. It's believed that when you, you get a child with a, a lawyer man, you are not supposed to go with that child in case you separate. But now let me tell you, that one is not a taboo and it is not a custom. What the elders were doing, they were trying to to bring together the, the, the rules that will help to curb cases of, uh, let's say, single mother. That gives us room to ensure that as men we, we, we remain responsible, our, our children get to inherit our lands and properties, we get to educate them. Uh, that is why such Customs were put in place. Not that when you go with them, anything can happen. Yes, I understand. We have families and uh, specific people who are too bounded with the children. In that, suppose you go with the child, she, she, he or she will fall sick once you reach your place. But also, the good thing we always have, we always have the uh, treatment the instant treatment for such cases. But for more on this, I will be making a long video about Luya culture, Luya taboos and Luya customs. Kindly subscribe and press that notification bell so that when I will upload that video, you will be able to get the detailed reasons why some customs were put, were put in place in Luya customs. This video will not end with Luya. I will try and gather information from other tribes because each and every tribe has its customs. And we need to share those customs 
we need to enlighten ourselves. We don't. We are not supposed to remain ignorant and feel that uh, maybe uh, one tribe or another uh, they are they are bad or good in this and that way. Kindly continue subscribing. Thank you.